Hey guys, you're watching Python tutorial videos on my YouTube channel Python for Microscopists. In today's tutorial, let's talk about multiple linear regression, uh, which is again an extension of the last couple of videos uh, where I talked about linear regression. The only difference with multiple uh, reg linear regression is that unlike uh, linear regression, where we have we worked with only one independent variable. Here, you can have multiple independent variables. Well, what does that mean? The last tutorials, again, the example I used was uh, the there are some number of cells in a microscope image, and the number of cells are growing as a function of time. So time was our independent variable, and the number of cells that are growing as a function of time was our dependent variable. So uh, in that case, we actually had a, a linear relationship, right? I mean, so where we fit it to y equals, again, mx plus c type of uh, equation, where our y was number of cells, and our number of cells was equals to whatever that value of m. We find that out from our linear regression multiplied by time and uh, plus uh, whatever that intercept was, right? Which is nothing but the initial number of cells in this example. So this is uh, linear, uh, just a single variable. Now, how about multiple? Now, I uh, let's think about a fun exercise here or a fun example where let's say uh, you're trying to analyze a bunch of images, okay? so. These images depend upon, again, time, right? How long does it take? Uh, or let's let's put it this way. Number of images analyzed, okay? Number of images analyzed is equals to time uh, times how many images you analyzed uh, in that specific amount of time, right? So let's say a constant of A. Number of images is equals to time multiplied by A. What if you are also dependent upon other factors. What if you uh, analyze images after having a coffee? Okay, so number of coffee cups multiplied by another variable called B, because the number of images that you analyze possibly depend on the amount of coffee, caffeine in your system, right? So you probably do better or worse if you have this. Or uh, it probably also depends on, uh, let's say, your age. OK, so you're not, uh, uh, you know, you're uh, a bit more careful because of your age or experience, if you want to call it, when it comes to analyzing certain images. And if you really want to, uh, you know, uh, are not very careful, not very experienced. Again, I'm uh, I'm equating age with experience, but you, you get the point. So it may be another uh, factor, you know, uh, into the number of images that gets analyzed. And plus, uh, maybe there is some sort of a intercept, you know, just like C here. I'm just adding D here, okay? So I hope this makes sense. The total number of images that you're analyzing per hour uh, equals to time, or let's just say total number of images in a day that you're doing equals to the time that you spend on a specific image multiplied by the parameter. So the three independent parameters are time, coffee, and age, right? So these are all independent. Uh, remember, you do not want to add a dependent variable as part of this, okay? So, because some of these can be uh, dependent, you know, if you add another variable called, uh, uh, you know, that's dependent on coffee, the number of coffee beans remaining or something, I don't know, it's dependent on how many coffee, how much coffee you, you consume, right? So you don't want to add anything that depends on any of these. So this is this is basically multilinear uh, regression, multiple linear regression. Instead of just one variable, you uh, independent variable, you have three independent variables. So let's stick with this example. I actually created a test uh, Excel sheet, it's partly from real experiment that I have done with a couple of people, and partly I just filled it in. Okay, it's it's. Uh, I hope you'll find this fun. So let's get back and uh, let's uh, write this from scratch. I was testing out how that data actually works out. So let's actually clean the slate here and start from scratch. Let's clear the screen. Let's clear the variables and uh, pretend that nothing happen. Okay, so step number one, we need to import the library. So let's just go ahead and import pandas as pd. Okay, and other libraries let's import as needed. So import pandas and then our data frame is equals to our pandas 
within the panda we have in this case instead of csv i created an excel file just you know for the fun of it excel and it's called images analyze.xlsx i think let's go ahead and let me quickly run this to make sure i got my file correct okay so that works fine now if you want you can just look at uh, the header of your uh, or the first few five columns of uh, my data set here so when i do df.head it's going to report the top five uh, data entries so as you can see the column number one is user number one i have like multiple users i think i have five different users user number one and uh, the time that they spent analyzing images the coffee uh, amount of coffee that they had like all the way from zero two cups four cups six cups and eight cups and then their age and the number of images they analyzed under those conditions okay so that's the data i hope you understand that uh, in fact let's have a look at a couple of uh, let's plot these and have a look at this and i love seaborn for plotting okay so i'm gonna import seaborn and not just pyplot and uh, think of seaborn as pyplot on steroids okay uh, <laughs> sns and there is called something called lm plot and i'm going to label my x uh, my x is uh, what did i call here time okay so uppercase t that's my x and what do we plot on y axis let's plot this images underscore a and a with uppercase i and uppercase a okay i got it right and where is the data coming from data is coming from my data frame which is df okay and by the way uh, with Seaborn, it's very easy to do multiple plots. For example, I want to do this plot for various age groups. Okay, all I need to do is just hue equals to age. So this is a scatter plot that, uh, let's go ahead and plot this one so you can see exactly how it looks like. Uh, let's, uh, so as you can see, uh, hue equals to age. So for different ages, it's actually plotting uh, time I mean, uh, images analyzed as a function of time, okay? So no matter what age group, in general, as time goes by, the number of images in general per, per hour are actually going down, okay? So obviously, you're getting tired as time goes by. That's pretty much what I infer from this data set. And I like Seaborn because you see these, these, uh, these shaded regions. This is nothing but the 95% confidence interval for each of those lines, okay? Uh, let's also do sns.lm plot to look at, uh, well, let's just look at the effect of coffee, okay? So x equals to, did I put uppercase, uppercase coffee, and then y equals to, uh, I'm actually getting lazy right now, so let me go copy and paste and uh, y equals to image analyzed so when i plot this again now you can see hopefully two plots the bottom one you can see um, uh, again how how it's it's a function and by the way you don't you're not just uh, i mean if you want to do uh, you know second order plot you can just do order equals to two okay so now if i plot this again you'll see that uh, especially, I mean, for the coffee one, you see this is a fit for order equals to two. So based on this curve, it looks like, okay, a little bit of coffee is fine, you know, two cups, but then if you start drinking more and more coffee, it uh, you start to see negative effects, okay? Again, do not uh, read too much into this. This is not a scientific experiment where I have done this. Otherwise, I would have published a paper with this uh, uh, findings, but unfortunately, this is not uh, scientific data, but it's fun data to work with. So let's get out of this uh, plotting now that we understand exactly how the data looks like so i'm going to start with my uh, uh, importing my excel sheet and now of course import our usuals numpy as np in, in fact i should have done this right from the beginning and from sk learn remember from uh, the previous tutorial linear model okay and this is where we have our linear regression. So linear model. And step number one, create a regression uh, uh, object. And this is from linear model dot linear regression. Okay. 
Again, this is no different than anything we have done in the last couple of videos. So created a regression uh, object. And after the regression object, we just do a fit. That's it. Create a regression fit. In fact, in our first tutorial, I actually talked about getting X column figured out, okay, and then Y column figured out, and then uh, and then uh, fitting the X and Y. You can do all in one step. So I'm going to do all in one step right now. So what is my X? My X is nothing but time, but it's not just time, right? In the first tutorial, again, uh, number of cells growing as a function of time. It was only a function of time. Now it's a function of time, coffee, and age. So let me get all of those three independent variables in here, coffee and age. Remember to type the names correctly, uppercase A, uppercase C. Okay, that looks good. And what is my Y? So fit takes two arguments, X and Y. What is the X data frame and what is the Y data frame? So the Y data frame is nothing but DF and images underscore analyze. That's it. Okay. So this is my independent variables. That's my dependent variable. That's all I have done. Okay. So just to make sure everything is working fine, let me run it. Okay. Everything is working fine. So the model is ready. I, we just need to predict this is as simple as that. Now we just need to predict again. I'm not repeating what I've done in the previous tutorials. So let's just predict, uh, print out the coefficients again. You know how to do this. We have done this in uh, one of our previous tutorials. And if you want, you can also do intercept, but let's just do our coefficients, okay, for now. So the coefficients, the first one time, is nothing but minus 0 0.356, whatever that number is, multiplied by the time. And coffee is also minus 0 0.34 something. And age is minus 0 0.04. Think of these as weights for each of these uh, each of these uh, independent uh, variables. So it looks like age is not a big factor. You know, it's minus 0 0.04, but coffee is a factor and time is a factor. Yeah. So by looking at the weights, you can kind of tell which ones are important, which ones are not so important. Uh, finally, if you want to uh, predict this, for example, let's uh, do the prediction. You know how to do this again. If you watch this uh, previous tutorial, dot predict. And now we need to give values and uh, for what values are we going to predict? So let's say the time is 13. Um, I have two cups of coffee and my age is 23. So now if I print this, so the I will be analyzing 18.87 images, you know, in whatever that given time with this. So Again, uh, multilinear regression is very simple. It's no different than linear regression, except you are defining more independent variables as part of your X, and your uh, dependent variable is uh, Y in this case, and that's pretty much it. So I hope you liked this tutorial, and if so, please go ahead and like this, uh, li uh, hit the like button, and subscribe to my channel for more such videos, which because it keeps me encouraged to create more content. Thank you very much.